Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I wanted to do some readings for everybody, for all of the elements, um, for all the signs, I'm sorry, all the zodiac signs um, for June 2020. And I was in the process of starting the one for Gemini and um, for whatever reason it stopped and I had to restart that. But anyway, I was just getting started and the first card that came out was the Pook. This is a number 60 card, which six is about, uh, the family dynamic, um, healing of the family dynamic. It could be about, um, zero could be about endings and conclusions and new beginnings and new cycles starting. But the Pook, is about seeing the good and the bad, the bad and the good, um, resolution, um, coming to a, um, uh, agreement or a solution with an event or a situation. Yes. Okay. What other messages do you have for my Gemini's for June, 2020 love, romance, finance messages from spirit, a mickle, a muckle, this card is reminding us to, to be joyful, to be childlike. This could also mean some of you are moping around and not really um, taking things too serious, uh, but it's time to start taking things serious. One, two, three, I was told to tell you guys. Um, but this is about getting that childlike energy, uh, allowing yourself to be playful and creative. This is a 49 card. Four could mean the angels are working with you. Nine is about philanthropy. philanthropy. <laughs> You guys know I have a hard time saying this, but this is about, um, yeah, coming, coming out of that mopiness and being more childlike and just more energy is what I'm hearing. Having more energy. Am I supposed to continue with these cards? Okay. Aries, what are their messages? Thank you. Iris of the Rainbows. Okay. Every time I see this, I think of promises, things coming into fruition, manifesting things that um, we have been trying to manifest. This is about things coming to um, abundance of joy and laughter. I want to read what this card has to say. This is a 32 card. Three could be the Ascended Masters working with you. A lot of people are connecting with uh, Ascended Masters right now, like Jesus, Mother Mary, any of them. It doesn't matter. There's thousands of them, guys. Whatever ones you're connecting with are the ones you're supposed to be connecting with. But uh, two is about balance with, between the physical and the spiritual. Um, let's see what this says. 32. Hope. Promises for the future. Blue skies are ahead. Iris tells us that light is breaking through our present darkness and that hope is a powerful factor in speeding up this process. She does not promise that the storm is over, nor does she say that it will never storm again, but she does say that there is brightness and beauty here. She also tells us that there is something to be gained by this passage through the storm. And the sooner that we learn this, the sooner that the storm will end. Okay, that's what that's about. Iris of the Rainbow, hope, promises of a better future, a brighter future. What course am I supposed to go to now, please? Thank you. Angels, what messages do you have, please, for all my Gemini's love, romance, spirit, messages from spirit, messages about finance or career, please? What messages do you have for all my Gemini's for June 2020? Am I supposed to take, okay, thank you, I thought so. Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? Okay, this is, for some of you, has something to do with a job or a career or maybe even entrepreneurship. I'm, I'm getting the message of praying and seeking guidance. If you meditate, make sure that you meditate about this and see exactly which way you're supposed to do, which way you're supposed to go. Don't just make a decision based on your feelings and your emotions. Make a decision based on what your intuition is telling you, based on what your guidance is telling you through prayers and meditation. And get confirmation until you know without a shadow of a doubt in your heart that's the way that you're supposed to move and what you're supposed to do. Yes is what they say. But you want to ask yourself, is it bringing you closer to your divine life purpose or is it taking you further away from it? Is it making you happier? Is it making you uh, feel feel more full of light? Or is it bringing you down and causing you drama and chaos? Uh, confusion or depression. Make sure that you're paying attention to those things. 
four, five, six, I was told to tell you guys. And it's not actually four, five, six, then five, oh, five on the screen. It wasn't actually four, five, six on the screen at that time, but that's what I heard, four, five, six. So that's about progress and positive change and transformation. Some of you, that's within the family dynamic. Omega, victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Okay, I'm being reminded all those things that we are trying to manifest is coming into fruition. This is for the Geminis. But anyway, it's coming into, into fruition. You're starting to reap the war, rewards of a job well done for thinking positive, for putting the positive energy out there, for acting as if you already have these things that you're trying to manifest, and then them see, seeing the result of them be those things being manifested into your life in fast, rapid, quick manners. Um, some of you, this is about um, an ascension journey that you're on. This is about the work that you're doing on your healing on yourself and others. And I'm hearing congratulations. You're starting to evolve through higher states of consciousness. This is for a lot of you, I'm being told. Some of you have finally got to that level of enlightenment that you're wanting. Um, and that's what this is talking about. You know, congratulations again. Some of you may be going through throat chakra activations or clearing or healing because I'm getting like a sore throat. And I kind of feel like there's a lot of tension there. So some of you are going through that. A lot of you is what I'm being told. Um, seeing the good and the bad and the bad and the good. Um, something to do with with I, I can't I'm not real for sure what they're trying to show me but can you show me that again okay a lot of you are getting like to a a place of like achieving better thoughts or I don't even know how to say this but it's like your thoughts you're starting to learn how to change your thoughts into, into better, higher vibrating thoughts, which is helping you to manifest those things that you want in your life. Um, but this is about the thought process. Somebody, a lot of somebody, okay, is going through like a change in the thought process. How you see things, how you perceive things, how you react to things, okay. Which is bringing you victory in many areas of your life with your relationships, with your ascension journey or your awakening journey um what have you okay i was told to read the bottom which is crystal it says have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet like the iris of the rainbows is saying it's just a confirmation there's miracles and blessings that you can't even fathom that are getting ready to happen by you just practicing manifesting things by acting as if you already have it by putting out those those good energies 808 that's about abundance uh, new cycles endings and conclusions um and some of this this is programming that you guys are finally getting out of that has to do with money situations like you have been raised to believe that you're never going to have any money you're never going to make anything you're never going to amount to anything um, that you're always going to be poor whatever it was that that some kind of programming for money that is changing for a lot of you you're starting to have that lift up off of you and you're starting to want to spend more of the money maybe on yourself or others um, that you are making some of you may have just been hoarding your money just because you were so afraid that you was never going to have it Something of that sort. But some of you are processing through that and getting through it. Others of you, this is about working with crystals. You know, uh, buying and purchasing or purchasing crystals and stones that will help you to heal yourself and others. Um, connecting with them is going to be beneficial for you at this time. What other cards am I supposed to go to right now? Confirmation cards, and I was told to let you guys go. What confirmation cards do you have, please, for all my Geminis for June? Am I supposed to take both of those? Thank you resourcefulness and innovation okay I get a forward movement when it comes to people that are trying to put plans into action with this card this is a number 11 card this could be uh, some of you twin flames that are working together with your twin flame starting up some kind of career or entrepreneurship some kind of practice of some sort but this is forward movement with that and this is resources that are coming to you this could be in the form of people places and things it could be um the animal spirit guides uh, communicating with you. Some of you could be connecting with the raven and, and um, getting like mysterious 
uh, knowings or starting to know like, um, what am I trying to say? Mysteries being revealed to you, okay? And this could be about your spiritual life, your spiritual practice, what have you, or this j just could be with anything. Some of you could be finding out that a raven is your animal spirit or your animal totem. This is the number four card, which is about, excuse me, the angels um, being of assistance to you. And I'm getting that your pot is now full or your basket is now full. So some of you are coming into like a fullness when it comes to uh, a, a abundance of resources or even abundance of money. This could be abundance of anything, but this is like... I'm hearing your basket is full. So whatever that means. And I'm seeing a cornucopia and it just being really full with flowers and fruit and vegetables. So whoever that's for, but I feel like a forward movement with a lot of people. That's what these cards are about. Are there any other cards that would like to come out? I heard no. So I'm going to get a couple um, animal uh, cards for you. 1101, I was told to tell you. You guys can look these numbers up on Sacred Scribes. And this reading isn't going to resonate with everybody. This is a general reading for all of the Geminis for June 2020. So that you know, it may not resonate with you. Rouse, express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. I've been listening to like these pan, uh, this guy playing like pan music. It's like a metal pan and he's tapping on it and banging on it or whatever. I've been listening to that. Um, so some of you just need to connect with different types of music is what I'm hearing. Don't be listening to the same things that you've always listened to. Listen to things that are going to be relaxing and motivating and inspiring is what I'm hearing. Yes, and that's what this card is about. Some of you are awakening your kundalini energy through music, music and movement is what I'm hearing. This is your kundalini, your chi, your life force energy, the Holy Spirit energy, whatever you want to call it. That energy is starting to move within a lot of you. Okay, am I supposed to read any other cards? I heard no. So, um, today's I am affirmations. I think you guys had two of them. Yes. Okay, today's I am affirmations for my Geminis is I am no longer a prisoner to my past. Today, I will accept and love myself for who and what I am. I am change. I know this is backwards, guys. I am generous and helpful. Okay, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and follow if you don't already. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. Everybody have a wonderful June. Oh, and happy birthday to all the Geminis. Love you guys. Bye.